Hi, I want to give some advice to Clout and other social web analytics players. When we think about influence, there's actually an evolution to influence. And this evolution can be very well captured in this universal dynamic of a seed becoming a flower. So here we have a seed, there's some germination, and then it results in a flower. There are three distinct stages to this. So this is the seed stage, there's a stalk stage, and there's a flower stage. And I'll call this the physical, the stalk, the vital, and the flower, the mental stage. And when we think about influence, so here we have influence. So in the very beginning, at this physical stage, influence is with what the eye can see. That's the physical stage or the seed stage. So it's just with people perhaps in the immediate environment, and then when we think about the vital stage, there's a lot more activity, there's a lot more germination, so that's corresponding to the stock stage. And here there may be some mechanisms or devices that can be used to leverage influence. And then finally, when we think about the third stage, there's actually influence through changing thought or paradigm or structures or pushing the envelope. And I would argue that the return on influence, if you will, increases as we move up this structure of influence. And here, what we have is for the same amount of effort, you may get only so charting influence along this axis here. What we have is for the same amount of effort in the physical stage, there might be just a little bit of influence that's generated. Relatively, when you move into the vital stage, then there is more influence that's generated. And then finally, when you move into the mental stage, you're looking at moving the needle, pushing the envelope, changing paradigms, changing thought structures, there can be a lot more influence that is generated. And when we think about what's happening in today's analytics world, the social media analytics, and what players like Cloud are really measuring, then Cloud is, for instance, leveraging or using existing mechanisms that maybe based on, on Twitter or Google Plus or LinkedIn or Facebook and the kinds of things by which they measure influence are for example like retweets or plus ones or number of recommendations and endorsements or maybe likes or fans and What's really being measured here is the amount of activity in a network. It's not so much how thought may be changing or how the meaning may be changing and therefore really having some longer term effect on influence, but it's more like what's the immediate activity in the network. And when we think about this, it's clearly in this strata here, so it's the vital level. So we have this layer here that's being used to generate statistics or values on the influence that any individual might have. Now there's one problem with this and again if we use the similar universal paradigm of growth where a seed becomes a flower and equate that or look at the way that the internet is growing then we see that at the very first stage, at this seed or, or physical stage, that's where technologies came together. And there may be very little activity. So here, we're over time. And here, if you may, this is tracking activity and reach. So there's just a little bit. Um, it, it takes a long time for a certain reach to be established. And then when we enter the vital stage, there's an exponential growth. So here, this is where number of users increases, content increases, amount of interaction increases. And the problem is that when you superimpose this exponential growth in the vital phase with what's happening here, you see that there's a marginalization of all this activity because suddenly what you have is a lot more users, a lot more content, a lot more interaction, but you're using the same means to really try and establish influence. So, so long as this growth continues exponentially, the kinds of things that are being measured by 
social media analytics players is being marginalized with the rapid rate of growth. Now, to get away from this problem, what really needs to happen is that we need to begin to make sense of how different posts or how different content that's being posted or how uh, a person is um, influencing their networks based upon the content that's really happening or, or the way that uh, meaning is being changed on the internet. And for that, what we need is some kind of a, a meta model uh, to establish what's really happening that's different uh, on the internet. So my advice is really, it's, it's threefold. And I'd say that as number one, what I would advise uh, Cloud and other social media analytics players is to push standards for internet whereby there's a layer of meaning superimposed upon the way the internet works. And this can be done by precisely by establishing norms for meta-modeling. And what I talked about earlier is in fact some kind of a fractal-based meta-model. And the advantage of a fractal uh, meta-model is that you can have some pretty concise, uh, efficient way of tracking influence in a lot of different realms. And so what we have here, if we consider this fractal model to be this growth, this universal paradigm, this growth from a seed to a flower, which we've already seen gives us insight into two different scenarios. And there's a lot more insight that can be got from this model when it's applied to different areas. So my, my first advice, again, to summarize, is to push for standards to create a fractal-based meta model. The second advice is, um, if this cannot be done, then to push players like Twitter and Google and LinkedIn and Facebook to allow users to track exactly where in this meta model content is or what it's pushing the boundaries of. So for example, is when someone posts something or there is um, a, a different uh, dynamic that, that a user is involved in, is it at the physical level, the vital level, mental level? Is it something that's pushing between transition from physical to vital or from vital to mental or from mental beyond? And these anchors, if you will, are these very same stages of this growth from the seed to the flower. So that's the second uh, advice is to push these established players like Twitter, Google, and so on to have buttons that really are, say, P, V, M, P to V, V to M, M to I, that allows different users to um, really get a sense for how what's being done is pushing a different paradigm uh, of meaning. And the third thing is that, in the absence of this, is to create a new kind of search engine or to establish a new player that really tracks influence that is based entirely on this realm here. And again, that's important because as this realm is being marginalized because of the exponential growth of the internet, it's, it's this layer here that's going to provide a lot more intelligence as to the influence that different players on the internet really have.